we start the second part of the question or it says part four this is tutorial number two hybrid body <laughs> okay this is a question four and it's it's a part two of our model and the only thing it says here is that we have to change this a parameters no, I mean this dimensions variables a b and c to this new uh, dimension so we go to SOLIDWORKS and this is our mass before changing this so we could go here the edit state 81 becomes how much? 84 81 becomes 84 7 becomes 57 becomes 59 This then to the like this and uh, forty three becomes forty five. Okay. Now we just measure the mass one zero three two point three two. And so we have to enter the value and this is the weight that it should be. Now we go to the next question which is to modify this part and as you can see use the part creating the previous question and modify it by removing material and also by changing the following parameters so what is so we first change the parameters to this new parameters one more time and then we will change this uh, we will do this modification to the part okay so a should be now 86 b is 58 and escape c is And now we have to modify the part as shown in here. There is a cut here, there is a cut underneath, in here is more visible here and here, here and here there is a cut and then there is a gap here and there is a new hole here. Okay, let's start with this face. This, 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 draw a line, double click, up, the dimension, what this should be, 52. So, 52 is the dimension, make another line, from here to here, go above, come down. And what is dimension? 19. So RID 19, make it alright. And then, again, we get this, this, this. I'm <coughs> gonna convert entities. So we choose these entities to be converted. And right click. And again, now we have to cut, trim. Trim the parts, and uh, extra is done. Right click, select. Next is to make the cut, press D, create your own shortcut. This part and this part, I'm gonna cut. How deep is gonna go? It's gonna be 19 and 19. So, double click, press 19, double times. 2 times press enter cut it 19 then there is a circle here as you remember and it's how much? 11 oh I forgot to dimension that at that time it's ok we can dimension now so it's 11 and 14 from here and 
fourteen from up. It's all blacks, it's all good. So we have to now extrude through all, right click, through all, again, right click, okay. That's all right. There is another gap if you remember it here. And we can use plane, choose the plane, choose it here. Then how much it should be away? It should be from here we can see twelve millimeter from this surface. The surface it should not touch. So reverse twelve millimeters, press OK, select the plane, sketch, right click another time looks similar to this then we should draw, draw an arc which is the center point arc choose this then a point here and sometimes it comes like this and I really sometimes get confused how to fix it so this is how it is dimension it could I mention at the same time when you create it as I said in this 41 and now you have to convert in feet I'll just add this into this also right click cut we don't need this extra part select from this and this should be on the same line track copy for center line line and made it which is B I use you can create on track copies press these two make coincidence no coincidence what's the dimension from above 36 press this this and it should be 30 enter and as you can see now it's all black yeah so if it's black that means the part is okay but something is wrong it, as you can see it's 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 too much done it, it, sh it should be 36 from here to this point but it got it wrong to this point so if you delete this and delete this press up this this and very change sometimes you need to have some observation to understand and it should be on here okay so I use the automatic elevation now everything looks fine 36 okay for one and before cutting it, it's better to check how much it needs to cut. 24. Okay, 24. Press D. And press 24. And we see we cut 24. And now our part, our second question is I think almost done. So we just need to check the mass. It is 628.18. It should be. Did we change? Yeah, we changed. 1 8 yeah we got the right answer now we move to the third question use the pocket in the previous question modify by adding a pocket only one pocket on one side is to be added this modified part is not symmetrical as in all options so what is the new part of bear adding this pocket here as you can see when they say top pocket, that means you need to use convert NGT and offset. Okay, so this is a new part. You can see the pocket is in this side where there was a cut 90, 19 deep. So we go back. So it's actually on this surface, the pocket. So we have to sketch on here. If now to convert the NGT, you can choose the face, right click, move the mouse like this, image this, okay? And then you just right click on it, select chain, and use this for construction, okay? And now it 
keys for construction yeah it looks like that it doesn't look very much like that but let's hope it's like that and <coughs> now we have to <coughs> I use the S button with some other additional things that I put here and this is the offset entity that I got and so you have to choose what you want to offset you have to do all these and how much this should be one millimeter one millimeter reverse the direction please add dimension everything looks okay uh, make base construction you see I didn't know this before <laughs> now I'm making this video and I learned that I could take this and it would automatically make that base as as a construction so next time we'll remember so we made this new new thing and then everything is ready to set to set to go you can check the dimension here okay yeah, you need more here out what is it then okay press B B on my computer make your own shortcut and keep on repeating it right click up to surface did I choose up to surface no it should not be up to surface it should be offset from surface which surface offset this how much offset you have to check the drawing which says here yeah, typical one so typically one millimeter here yeah, as you can see so one millimeter right click so you got here to here then uh, it goes still more deep and this time what we have to do we have to again convert the entities but one is this one okay let's convert this first go convert this and the rest is these ones in the in the side yes but this should be one millimeter down so we have to offset so s i press s press this i choose this this time I use make base construction that's a good idea to do okay now again this I will not say what I'm doing when I'm doing the same thing again okay this edge it should not be there is this two deep how much deep 12 meter uh, 12 millimeter away from this surface okay so press B right click super surface here how much 12 okay so we make it be 12 millimeter from here yeah right so check the mass again it's 432.58 and anything else back here i don't think so 43258 as you can see we got the right answer so <coughs> this is this is the part that i finished and if you if you want to make shortcut key and all this I think it is in here to customize shortcut in here when you press S all these would appear if you are in if you are in a feature this will appear if you are in a space another part will appear I think from here you can choose this would appear and you can choose the shortcut key buttons here I added my own you can add yours for different 
Okay. So this is this is C center one. I put B. And this is it. Thank you for watching, and I will look forward to see you in my second. No, sorry, this was my second in my third video. Thank you.